Hail to the king, baby, because Duke Nukem is back. That's right, folks. Evercade, of all companies, managed to get the Duke Nukem license, and they just released two brand new cartridges with remastered versions of original Duke Nukem games that had never been remastered before. They're not available on any other platform, and I'm super excited to check these out today. But they also have some new handhelds that are budget-friendly handhelds as well that they wanted me to check out. So we're going to be checking out the handhelds first for a little bit just to see how they sort of work, and then we're going to get into the meat and potatoes. The Duke is back. Hail to the king baby but before we get into that i want to give a huge thank you to today's video sponsor today's video is sponsored by world of warships legends available for your playstation or xbox console world of warship legends is a free-to-play console game that offers huge multiplayer naval battles with historically accurate ships and some fun collaborations command powerful warships scout and annihilate enemies on your playstation or xbox for free sail the sloppy seas and hop into action-packed battles on maps tailored for swift engagements with a focus on a variety of pvp missions such as nine versus nine or even three versus three versus three versus three this game is attractive over 8 million players offers limitless opportunities to explore the naval world with over 400 ships over 20 maps and over 100 plus commanders and right now they're doing some major black friday deals going on from november 24th to december 11th in this update they have tons of new goodies including four black ship packs that are only available to acquire for a limited time you have the famous dunkirk which can glide on waves as smoothly as a dark shadow the Asashio, a small but deadly ship that will sneak up on your enemies with grace and destructive torpedoes. The mighty Tear Pits, a majestic queen of the seas as strong and as sharp as a black diamond. And the dreaded Napoli, the dreaded obsidian ship that emerges from the gloom, gets in close and crushes ships as if they were made out of paper. Claim the free bundle, this time containing amazing coupons for additional doubloons. Depending on the sum of your purchase, you can receive up to 12,000 bonus doubloons for one purchase. Like I said, World of Warships Legends is free to play on consoles. There's tons of content in here, so what are you waiting for? Go ahead and download this game. I'll have a link in the description box down below to get some more information. And a huge thank you to World of Warships Legends for sponsoring today's video. All right, so before we take a look at our Duke Nukem games, I do want to show you guys Evercade's new handheld because right now, Evercade, of course, has stuff like the EXP. We took a look at this on the channel, a really awesome sort of handheld here. Nice big screen, but you can see now they have like a small budget friendly handheld system and they're called like the super pockets now these retail for sixty dollars they're a lot smaller you know the screen isn't quite as good as something like the exp but i've been spending some time with the taito one just sort of checking it out so i want to unbox this capcom one for you as well and then show you it in action because I like Capcom more than I like Taito. But what's cool about this is we have back buttons here. We have our volume control. We have uh, USB-C, our on-off switch. But we also have access to the Evercade library of cartridges with the Super Pocket. So these retail for 60 bucks. They come with games pre-built into them. Like I said, there's a Taito edition. And then there's the Capcom edition. So let's go ahead, take this out of the box, and I'll show you guys kind of how it comes as a unit and what it can do in terms of the games that are available on it. All right, so taking it out of the package here, you could see like these are definitely small boys, but hey, you know what? That's not the size. It's it's what you do with the size, right? <laughs> am, I, am I right? Yeah, we have a, a charging cable in here as well. It's just a standard USB-C cable, but I like the way these little handhelds look like they're actually handhelds like you could fit this legitimately in your pocket. And that's kind of one of the things that they're going for with this is an arcade in your pocket. So we've got it booted up here. You can see this is our Capcom edition. Um, came with a full charge as well, straight out of the packaging. Definitely appreciate that. It's got a decent screen on it. I'm not sure that it's as good as the Evercade screen. Well, I know it's not as good as the Evercade screen. But like I said, these are selling for 60 bucks, and they're still pretty damn good, all things considered. Like you can see everything that you want to see what's interesting about these is that they have an easy mode that adjusts the difficulty of the built-in arcade games that you can select so if that's you know if this is like your first time playing a handheld or something like that you know hey you have that option we'll just go with normal mode here and then we've got our user agreements here don't you just love like user agreements they're so much fun 
we'll accept it and then bam here we are so these are the capcom games that are built into this handheld we have street fighter 2 hyper fighting strider mercs 1942 1943 1944 bionic commando captain commando final fight forgotten worlds ghouls and ghosts mega man nes version uh and that's what we have here so a decent smattering of games considering everything is 60 dollars with this so we'll just boot up some street fighter 2 hyper fighting great game and that'll be a good way to test out the d-pad on this system like i said i've been spending time with the taito unit and i saw some people that were kind of um saying the d-pad they didn't really care for it they didn't think it was very good i don't really have an issue with it i saw some some talking on it was just honestly in my facebook feed about it like it's not the best d-pad that i've ever used no not by a long shot but i mean i'm able to to do what i want here against guile and you know i i think it, it gets the job done this isn't this isn't a uh you know a super premium product or anything like that this is a this is a budget sort of product here and i think for a budget product it's actually pretty like damn good like there's definitely the collectible aspect of it as well which i think is really cool um and yeah like i i really like these little handhelds so obviously this isn't the focal point of the video but i just wanted to show this off as well because i thought these are pretty cool but really you're here for duke nukem so let's go ahead and check out our duke nukem cartridges all right so we have two collections of duke nukem games on here if you're not familiar with evercade basically these games cost around 20 dollars a pop you get multiple games on a cartridge it is a physical cartridge which is awesome because you don't have to worry about things ever getting delisted because we live in a world where well duke nukem would probably get delisted you can see here a full color manual explaining to you the games that are involved in it some of the hints um, what the different items are, how to move around. Like, it's a full instruction book, which is freaking awesome. So our first collection features Duke Nukem 1 and 2 Remastered. This has actually been remastered for the first time. I remember playing this game via, like, shareware on a school computer. And then we have Duke Nukem 3D Total Meltdown. Looking at the back of it, we have 60 frames per second widescreen remasters of Duke Nukem's first two adventures, plus the 32-bit console versions of his legendary first-person mission so having those games remastered is actually really cool you can actually switch back and forth on the fly and then we kind of have the duke nukem games i never played duke nukem time to kill duke nukem land of the babes and duke nukem advanced i believe these two were um on the playstation one and then this game was of course a game boy advance game to me like cool like obviously the first duke nukem collection is a little bit cooler but i'm interested in checking these out dude like i i want to see what these are all about um once again another beautiful color manual all right enough yapping enough showing off the other other products here let's check out the games baby all right first off we're gonna take a look at duke nukem one and two remastered as far as i'm aware the only place that this remaster exists is on here so I mean that's just that's just freaking sweet dude and these cartridges they work across all the evercade products you know the the evercade handheld the exp the new little one that we just took a look at as well i tested it out on there it all works you know it, it all works across all the different devices and you can see here like this is definitely a lot more playable of a game and considering like you know the iconic history of the duke nukem character and essentially starting with these games oh man i got blown up there like this is very cool to me like this is definitely a piece of gaming history and yeah they're not they're not the greatest games in the world but as far as the remaster is concerned you can really see that like it's a stark difference because you could switch on the fly and like here's the original you know it's it's a bit jank um no music going on like we have with the enhanced version so this is just awesome because like this is a, a really good way to play the game and it really makes you appreciate the smoother scrolling that this game offers this enhanced version of the game so you know getting this game alone on a cartridge with duke nukem 2 and duke nukem uh you know 3d like 
that's nuts for for like around 20-ish dollars like that's absolute insanity so this is a super fun game something that i think i'll check out more um as we go along we're just kind of taking a look here to make sure you know everything's running and going well but i i'm enjoying this like this is fun this is history and this is something that i've never played oh, there's no smoking zone in here i've never played this before and that's kind of what's cool about evercade is like you get introduced to games and, and franchises and stuff that you're probably, you know, not not familiar with. G games and stuff that you've never really experienced because, you know, maybe they came out on another platform and maybe they're, you know, a smaller indie title. All right, so let's go ahead and check out Duke Nukem 2. Here's Duke Nukem 2. You can see the presentation definitely went up a notch you know the the duke nukem character himself is much larger there's more stuff going on in the foreground and the background let's take a look at the original it's it's pretty accurate to the original honestly um but i mean so much smoother this way oh this is awesome <laughs> this is this is great you get crap bl blowing up and dudes getting mangled uh yeah yeah where are you going nowhere you're going going to meet your maker son i'm having a lot of fun playing this and this is a game that i probably never would have played if it wasn't for something like the evercade so this is an all this is i'll keep it a buck this is by far my favorite evercade collection and you don't have to buy all the evercade games like yes they they do release quite a few different titles but it's more about the variety of stuff you know giving you the options to purchase the games if you want to purchase them but if you don't it's, it's not like you're missing out on anything you know just buy the games that you want to buy it's a it's a friendly enough ecosystem and even if like they went out of business tomorrow which i don't really see that happening um like you would still have tons of games to play i am terrible at this i don't i don't really know what i'm doing here there's lots of explosions but yes super cool to see this let's check out some duke nukem 3. You also get some new cool artwork for Duke Nukem 1 and 2. You also get some really cool new artwork for Duke Nukem 1 and 2 Remastered, which, like, that's just such a nice little touch, you know? That's that's why I like Evercade stuff, because it's, it's clearly not, like, cash-grabby. Like, yes, they want to make money, but, like, they actually put time and effort into these products, you know? Uh, cartridges, color manuals, and stuff like that. Like, I'm the emulation king. I get that. But, like, I do appreciate retro companies who who put in the work, who do, you know, cool stuff like this. And, you know, it's it's very important for, you know, just retro games in general, man. Because so many, so many companies are just vultures, you know. They come along and they just try to ride the wave of retro gaming nostalgia. But Evercade actually cares, I feel like. All right, so here is Duke Nukem 3D Total Meltdown, I believe this is the PlayStation 1 version of the game. You know, obviously it doesn't look as good as something like the uh, the remastered edition that we got for the 30th World Tour. But you know what? I, I still think it looks pretty good. You know, it, it looks good enough for me. Um, you know, you have a couple different display settings that you can do. Original, full screen, all that sort of stuff. Well, you know, we'll just keep it original because I feel like that does the job enough for me. But, you know, it's it's freaking Duke Nukem, like a time in space when like you were a kid and you didn't worry about stuff. Like you'd go over to your friend's house and your friend would be like, yo, we got Duke Nukem. Like, no way. Your parents let you buy that. You got some questionable parents, bro. But I mean, you know, I, li I like your parents like that. That's awesome that they let you get Duke Nukem because mine wouldn't. But I didn't have a computer anyways. But anyways, like, you know, it's Duke Nukem. Um. It controls pretty decent, I feel. You know, you're using a D-pad here. Um, obviously, this was designed with a D-pad in mind. If it is the um, the uh, PlayStation version, like I'm assuming it is. I'm not sure if that had um, DualShock uh, capabilities on it. But, you know, I, I do it all for the boys. You know what I'm saying? I do it all for the boys. And I mean, come on, bruh. You don't see this in video games anymore. We've gone, we've gone soft as a country, darn it. 
steroids. This game was just so like this game was just like let's make a, a game for teenage boys, and they were like, all right. And then like even as an adult, I'm like, yo, this game is tight, bro. <laughs> this game is tight. But yeah, so that's our first Duke Nukem cartridge. Um, we're not gonna do full playthroughs of these games. We're just gonna kind of sample them a little bit, see what they're all about. But now we want to check out the second Duke Nukem cartridge because I'm very interested to see games that I'm not familiar with, like at all within the Duke Nukem pedigree. So let's go ahead and check that out next. I love how my Evercade just essentially turned into like a Duke Nukem box, putting in both games at the same time. Um, I guess let's check out Duke Nukem Advance first, just because that's first up on the list of games here. You can see there's additional information stuff with the game, and you can also save your controls and stuff like that. You know, cool little stuff, nice little details to uh, make the games feel more alive i guess 3d realms wow that's an old school logo i've never played this game before and uh interesting like dialogue and stuff you know what i'm gonna keep it a buck this i like obviously okay let uh let's well, we'll keep it a buck on the graphics they're not great i mean this is definitely you know a bit of a a bit of a uh pixelated looking game but like control wise, bro, like this is this is pretty smooth. Like I I like the way that the movement is. And I mean you can understand like what you're looking at. Well, at least at least at the start here for the most part. But I like this. I I I I'm very interested in this game now because it seems just like a a weird sort of anomaly, you know, lost to time. And stuff like that you know how many kids or how many of us like played Duke Nukem on the Game Boy Advance maybe there was a lot you know I played some um like X versus sever on there on the uh, Game Boy Advance because they they love to do first-person shooters on the on the GBA for some freaking reason but no this this is this is kind of fun, honestly, and it, it's just all so new to me. Obviously, it doesn't look great, but you know that's more so just because it's a it's a Game Boy game blown up on a big screen. Let's let's take actually this would be a good idea to um change the display setting to pixel perfect. See if that makes a difference here as far as the visual quality is concerned. I guess it's a little cleaner you know it's a little cleaner but yeah this is this is fun this is interesting this is definitely a, a you know this is like the the duke nukem deep cuts uh collection here like the games that you probably you probably never got around to playing of duke nukem these are the ones on this cartridge so let's check out the next game Look at this we got a freaking cut seed running out of cartridge here that's pretty cool i like that this is duke nukem land of the babes honestly pretty decent video quality considering this game came out in the year 2000 in the year 2000 so that that's actually pretty pretty impressive um that they got that cut scene to even like exist on this game so this is when duke nukem went to like a third person perspective and i will be honest like i, I think this looks it, it looks better than i i thought it was going to you know obviously there was a lot of oh I'm, I'm not going there uh, yeah we're not we're not going down there uh, that feels dangerous um i don't quite know what i expected from this as far as graphics were concerned but i expected it to be a little bit muddier than this so, you know, that's actually um that's actually pretty interesting as far as the graphics are concerned. It controls all right, like as good as I would have expected it to. Um maybe we do have to go down here. Oh, we're going to die. Oh, we didn't die. But I don't I don't think that was the proper way to go down here. Hey, we'll f we figure it out as we go along. Look at these mutated rats, bro. These things are big. This is this is interesting. You know, I'm not thinking strafe. 
I, I don't hate this. I, I expected to to not be into this, but I'm digging this. Like, this is cool. This feels like, you know, a Duke Nukem that I've never experienced. Because I most of my time, sniper rifle? How do I switch weapons? Oh, God, we're getting lit up. Look at this monkey. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this game's goaded. This game rules. Oh man, and I can play this in handheld on my handhelds too. That's 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 sweet. That's sweet. I'm gonna have fun playing this game. Any game where you can do that, like that's that's good stuff to me. How do I? I probably should have looked at the controls instead of just been being a Neanderthal. Oh, he's got a Duke's got a nice jump in this game. Good God. Hitting the ceiling. Go play in the NBA. All right, this is cool, though. I, I'm digging this a lot more than I thought I would. And this is a welcome addition to the Evercade library. And remember, we're not spending much money on these games, people. Like, they're on Amazon. You can buy them. You can buy the systems off Amazon. I'm going to have links to everything in the description box down below because I'm a shill, and I want to make some, you know, potential revenue if you guys are if you're interested in it. Oh, man, I got lit up. Yes. All right, so this is dope. We're going to check out the final game now. All right, so our final game here is Duke Nukem, A Time to Kill. This came out in 1998, so it came out a little bit before um, Return to Babe, uh, the Babeland game, so we probably should have played this first. Oh, look at this. We're getting right into it. Get out of here. Get out of the club. That dude just got dismembered. I like this game. I am a... I, I've got a shotgun now. What's up, girl? Hey, that looks better than the uh, than the other, uh, you know, Duke Nukem babes. They were highly pixelated. These are these are pixelated as well, but you know, the pixelation's a little bit less. Let's switch to that. Switch to that shock. Oh, that's a big shotgun. Who we got in here? But yeah, this this once again, I feel like there's some enhancements done to it because I can't imagine. That was the wrong button. Once again, trying to figure out the buttons here. I can't imagine that this game ran as smooth as it's running on here. Oh, look at that. Destructible elements, too? Like, I could be wrong. Like, maybe it does run great, and there was just a bunch of... How do I stand up? There was just... Okay, there we go. You know, there was just a bunch of awesome games that came out on the PlayStation 1 in the third-person genre but oh god this is this is awesome i like this level too like this is a cool this is a cool level you know just the the city level you know it's standard stuff but oh, someone's shooting at me oh you're up there fear my shotgun massive range this is dope i, I like this i want to explore it more like this is, this is by far like the, the my my favorite Evercade stuff, because oh god he respawned, or he just spawned. Okay, that that's cheesy. That's, that's a little cheap there, homeboy. Woo um, you know these are these are interesting games that I've never played, and I feel like a lot of people have never played these games. So to get these first introduction, I'm sure they're not like. You know, I'm sure it's not cheap on uh to get him on PlayStation One or anything. Okay, okay, a little a little jump back. No, the woman is here for. Oh, look at that destructible environments. It's got more destructible environments than a modern Call of Duty. Hello, do I do you, do I just get on the bed or what do you want here? All right, we're getting a little we're getting a little too crazy here, folks. We're getting a little too crazy, but I love I love these Duke Nukem games, bro. These are awesome. These are so much fun playing these games for the first time. And of course, this is just a sampling of Evercade's cartridges. Like, I really like this company, dude. I know there's people out there that aren't huge fans of them. I'm not really sure why, but like pretty much everything I've tried from them, I've really enjoyed. Like, yeah, some of the games aren't going to be for you. And like, that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. But when the games are for you, like they hit, bro. They just did like a Sunsoft compilation too that I also have like, Shout out to every K, man. Y'all are doing some really cool stuff here. So let me know in the comment section down below. Are you going to be picking up any Evercade products? You know, the um either a system 
or you know a uh, some of these games if you already own a system i'll have the links to everything in the description box down below affiliate links so you help out the channel if you make any purchases and as always guys thank you for checking out this video and uh i will catch you guys on the next one because i'm probably about to switch into handheld mode and you know make a save because you can do that it saves on there and you can play it in handheld mode as well um and then check out some more of these games because i'm i'm really digging them all right later